Hello everybody and I hope that you're well. Um, so today I have a little bit of a sweet tooth. Um, so I thought I would share with you my very easy and quick um, chocolate chip biscuit uh, recipe. It's great to be enjoyed with um, a nice cup of tea and something you can get the kids involved with. So I hope that you enjoy and let's get making. Okay, so I'll just share with you the ingredients I'll be using. Um, so let's start with the caster sugar. So I've got 100 grams of caster sugar. Um, 100 grams of the very important chocolate chips um, and um, 100 grams of uh, softened butter um, and 175 grams of plain flour, uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder and one medium sized egg. Okay, so I'm going to begin by putting on the oven because I have a tendency to forget this bit if I don't do it first. Um, and now we are going to start prepping. So I'm going to do um, the greasing of the tray. This is another thing that I feel like if you do it first, you'll make sure you won't forget. Um, so I've just got a little bit of extra butter. Um, I like to grease my tray with um, butter, but you could easily use um, a baking sheet. Um, so I've just got enough to bake, uh, to um, put onto the tray. I'm just going to use a bit of kitchen paper to help me do that. Okay, so now the tray is nicely covered in butter. Um, make sure you get all the little bits and all the corners. Um, you don't want any of your lovely hard um, biscuits to stick. Um, so, next we're going to do a creaming process. Um, so we're going to take the sugar and we're going to take the softened butter and we're going to just add them to a bowl and we're going to cream this together. So it's nice um, and uh, soft, the butter. So I'm just going to begin to break it up, covering it in that sugar just to kind of get it going before we use um, a hand blender. Or if you have a whisk, you could also do it by hand. Um, and we're going to cream these together. Just make sure you use sort of the tips of your fingers um, at this point. Okay, so I've just given the butter a little head start just to make sure it's nice and soft and I'm now just going to use my electric uh, blender just to um, whisk this all together. I think I'm happy with that consistency now. So I hope you can see um, that the butter and sugar have creamed together nicely using that hand mixer. Um, so that's great. Let's now move on to beating the egg. So I've got one medium sized egg. I'm just going to simply crack this into a bowl and beat it. Um, and now I'm going to add the egg to our um, mixture. And I'm now going to sieve the flour. So at nice height, just to give it some air. In it goes. Make a nice pretty mountain, snowy mountain. And then do the same with that baking powder. Just to get rid of any of those lumps. And the lumps have now disappeared, which is great. So now I'm just going to gently mix this together using a folding technique, so down the middle and just kind of gently spoon it together until it all forms a nice sort of dough. Um, it's important um, to do it like this just so we don't knock that air out that we've put into the whisking of the 
um, butter and sugar and then with the flour as well so it just gently does it okay so it's been probably about four or five minutes um, it's all coming together quite nicely into a nice sort of dough I suppose um, so I'm going to add the chocolate chips and continue to sort of hand mix them together you can add as much and as little as you like I'll start off with this much just to get them evenly distributed throughout the dough So you can see that the bowl is nice and clear, um, it's all mixed in really well, all that chocolate. Um, I would say it's on the slightly a stickier side, um, so um, that should be the sort of consistency you're looking for. Um, so now the sort of the final sort of stage is to just mould these into cookie-like shapes and pop them onto your greased baking tray, so that's what I'll do now. This will probably serve around sort of 12 to 18, depending on the size that you go for. just into a little ball, ball shape and then press it down and on it goes. Splash. Small palm sized handful I would say. Okay, so all of the biscuits are nice and ready and um, you can just see I've just uh, spaced them out just so that they hopefully don't expand too much and stick together, um, but they are now ready to go in. gone in at 200 degrees, uh, middle shelf, and they will now bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, so I'll check them in 12 minutes and see how they're getting on. So it's been exactly 13 minutes now, and I'm just going to take them out and have a look to see how they are getting on. So um, they look um, nicely done to me, they're starting to go a little bit golden around the edge, um, they've just risen a little bit but not um, expanded too much, um, so that shows that the texture of the dough was really good, so I'm just going to wait for these to cool um, and then we can give them a try. Okay, so. Um, they're out the oven and I'm just going to make sure they cool. Um, so I've got a cooling rack here, so I'm just going to transfer them over now. And then I'm going to leave them to cool here for about half an hour. Um, just for biscuit dough, um, it's good for them to go nice and hard and not crumble. So it's good to just transfer them the moment they're out. So the uh, biscuits are nice and ready and the kitchen smells very nice. Do you agree? Yeah, it smells very nice. <laughs> Something is baked here. Yeah. Um, and we've of course got some tea because we need tea with our biscuits. Mm. So I've made you a nice cup of tea. Um, would you like to try one? Yeah. Yeah. Choose one you like. Lots of chocolate chips. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope they're nice. They've cooled for a half an hour. Um, a nice way to tell that they've um, baked properly is that they're golden from the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. That's how you can tell a nice biscuit is nicely done. Similar with bread actually as well. You can knock the bottom of bread and it'll tell you if it's done. But anyway, should we try? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Mm. It's a very nice texture. Mm. Very soft, like home baked biscuits. A little bit crumbly. 
I really like the taste of um, chocolate chips in mm. there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They're very soft and fluffy and soft in know. the middle, crumbly at the mm. beginning. Nice taste, not too sweet. You know, they're a nice, mm. nice sweetness. Yeah. Perfect with tea. Mm. So, we really hope that you enjoyed this video. Mm. Um, we hope that you try our lovely biscuits, and um, perhaps with a cup of tea as well, as we're about to enjoy. Um, do check out our social media, and um, you can find our website where you can find all of our other recipes, which is www.spicykissler.co.uk. And you can also check out our Instagram and Facebook pages. Um, we do hope that you subscribe to our channel as we've got plenty of more exciting videos coming your way and we hope to see you again very soon. So take care and uh, goodbye for now. <laughs>